Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for, for being here this evening uh, on such a crappy, crappy night. Uh, it really shows that you are interested in what goes on in your city and you uh, do want to find out what all the candidates uh, are thinking and what their views are. Um, I think you're going to hear this evening uh, probably three or four uh, issues that a lot of the candidates are going to speak about. Um, I think that uh, you know by the end of the evening, uh, hopefully you'll be able to make up your mind and decide about which of those candidates can best carry out uh, their promises or, or their issues. Um, the issues I'm going to speak about tonight are issues that people have told me about. I have spoken to a lot of people this last uh, couple months, a lot of the public, and I've heard about a lot of issues uh, before I put my candidacy in and uh, certainly a lot more afterwards. And uh, I think at the, at the top of the list, obviously, at this point is communications. I think that uh, we've had a real lack of, of meaningful communications and uh, dialogue with our, with our people. Uh, people just don't feel as if uh, they've been able to be heard at City Hall when they go there to speak to people um, or they're being ignored. Um, they feel that they really don't have an ear uh, of the council or, or administration, and they want some say in what goes on in the community. And I think that's really important. Um, uh, people, when they come into City Hall, don't want to be belittled, they don't want to be ignored, they don't want to be put down. Um, they want to feel as if they're as important when they came in as when they go out, and sometimes that's not happening at this point. Having run a, a retail store for 35 years, um, I'm a bit of a stickler for customer service. I think that if you don't offer good customer service, you soon aren't going to have any customers. And uh, if I become the mayor, um, I'm going to be insisting that not only myself, my council, administration, all the employees treat all the people that come through those doors and all the people they're in contact with every day with respect. They want to treat, treat them as though they can go somewhere else and buy the same service. Obviously, they can't here, but that's how it should be treated. Treat them like you'd like them to come back. Make them to want to come back. I think that's really important. The other issue is just, just getting council's message out. That's been uh, talked about a lot in the past. It was talked about a lot in the last, uh, the last civic election. Just about everybody said there had to be better communications. Um, I, for one, just don't think anything's happened on that front. Uh, the communications just isn't there. People just don't know what council is thinking or what they're doing before it actually comes before council. Um, and communication is a two-way street. You know, you have to be able to have a mechanism where people can come and talk to you, let you know what's on their mind. Uh, at this point in time, it, it seems that, you know, those things just aren't there. And I think that you know, we need to develop some sort of mechanism, and I'll be asking my council to help me out on that, some sort of mechanism to be able to communicate better, whether that's town hall meetings, which we've had a couple of lately, or whether that's some sort of an advisory committee made up of community members, so you can talk back and forth. I don't know exactly what the answer is, but we have to have some formal mechanism set out uh, and, uh, and actually start using it. You know, words are cheap, but you've got to put some of this stuff into action. And I think you as, as the taxpayers uh, deserve to be able to, to be heard, and also you deserve uh, to have us be able to tell you what we have on our minds. And you know what, you, you, uh, councils and any, any governments make a lot less mistakes if they find that, uh, you know, they listen to the feedback, listen to the people. And uh, I think that's a big one for me. Don, at your request, that's a minute remaining. Thank you. Uh, you know, another thing I hear a lot about is our finances. We've built up a mountain of debt lately. I think we have to be a bit careful on that. And I think we can do that without stifling growth. Growth to me is not publicly funded infrastructure. Uh, growth is when you can bring in jobs, you can bring in people, you can bring in industry, those sorts of things. And I think we can do that with the help of our uh, director of business development. His was the only budget that was decreased last year in the whole city budget. I think maybe we can spend a few more dollars there, maybe a few thousand, but it won't be millions. So I think we can continue to grow. Uh, I think that, you know, there's, there's a number of other issues that I haven't even gotten to tonight. 15 but they're seconds in my remaining. brochures. Uh, please pick them up after the meeting. Thank you so much for all being here. And uh, please, it would be an honor for me to be your mayor on October the 28th.